Hello everybody, it's George from Gaming My Whole Life where I discuss everything video game related. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I need to tell you something. I don't really like MMORPGs. For the most part, whenever a brand new game is coming out, the moment I see a focus and emphasis on online, I look the other way. I'm not a big multiplayer fan. I respect it, I know it can be fun, and when I'm in the mood, sure. But for the most part, single player me all the way. I don't want to look at anyone, I don't want to see anyone, I don't want to talk to anyone. I stick to those single player experiences, except for Diablo 3, which I really enjoyed, and I'm looking forward to Diablo 4. That being said, I just saw the trailer for Chrono Odyssey, or Chrono Odyssey if you want to say it the other way. And um, this is an MMORPG being made on the Unreal Engine. It's coming out on Xbox Series S and X, it's coming out on PlayStation 5, and it's coming out on PC. And my goodness, I am going to hype this game anyway, <laughs> even though it's in a category which I'm normally not interested in, but two things. One, it looks freaking stunning. Yes, I'm going to get my graphics pervert eye candy eye out, whatever, you know, fancy <laughs> fans and lights. It looks fantastic, right? Visually, it looks really good. But then as I analyze the trailer, I'm like, okay, there's actually a lot of gameplay elements that I really like about this. And frankly, I can probably still play the game single player. There's maybe aspects where I'll be forced to play with other players. So be it, I'll tolerate it. And sure, I'll just have a harder gaming experience if it means I can play this gorgeous game. <laughs> It looks fantastic. So let's go over all the little bits of information, bips and bops that I've come across. That is the reason why I'm actually looking forward to this. And of course, if you do enjoy my positive enthusiasm, you know, um, please give me a like. That's community feedback. You're saying, hey, Georgie boy, you're doing a good job. And also consider subscribing as I cover anything and everything that I'm interested in. That can be Sega, um, Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, whatever, retro games from 20, 30 years ago, PlayStation VR 2. I cover it all and more. I'm just going to hit you bang, 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 bang with all the sexy things we know about this game. And of course, have the sexy gameplay playing behind us. And uh, let's get to it. So firstly, a bit of a key giveaway. The word chrono comes from the Greek word chrono, which literally mean, translates to year, time, thereabout. I'm Greek, so I actually use that word when I speak Greek. And um, as the title says, it's an MMORPG has the word time in the title. Why is that there? It's because you can manipulate time. You can manipulate it, you can freeze, you can rewind, but also, and this is an extra bit of information that I came across, which I think is very, very cool, is um, explore other timelines. That is a key thing. So not only are you going to Prince and Persia this shit, right, and just rewind, you know, to get out of our bad decisions, bad situations that you've put yourself in. Not only will you be able to pause everything around you, it will be limited, you know, in its usage so you don't become OP, but you can freeze things, very cool. But you can manipulate time at some points so hardcore that you end up in other timelines. So creatively wise, I think that gives up gives the developers a lot to play with because if you can jump into other timelines then that means you can just in a moment be in a completely different world time location everything that's very exciting so what classes can we play in this game <laughs> think third person action game right you get the swordsman you get the ranger you get the sorcerer you get the paladin you get the berserker and you get the assassin you can be a man or woman there's a lot of um different customizable options very nice uh credit where due the ladies are sexy as they should be um those of you who have been subscribed to me long enough know that i do not appreciate nor do I support censoring uh, because of modern social politics, will not accept. This game is doing it old school. The guys are buff, strong, good looking models. The women are sexy. The, the clothing represents that. Wonderful, as it should be, right? I'm not going to shame the female body because of silly, silly modern politics. Moving past that, right? The actual characters look fantastic, so whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, whether you're a berserker, whether you're a sorcerer, it just looks really darn cool. Like, I don't care if I play as a man or woman in this game, whoever I play as, I'm going to be perving on those graphics all the time because it looks fantastic. FYI, I use the word perving interchangeably as in a compliment, right? When I say I'm perving on graphics, it means I like what I see, right? <laughs> <laughs> like come on so real-time combat characters look like bosses fantastic the many different classes they're using the unreal engine 5 they are pushing things 
to the maximum. I'll use some of their own wording. So it's an MMORPG, Unreal Engine 5, Satera, which is the name of the world that you'll be exploring, an open world wilderness, and stunning scenery which transforms with each passing season. So there's a there's a day cycle, there's a night cycle. It's obviously going to be raining at some points. I think the game looks gorgeous regardless of the time of day. When it's out in the sun, when you're out in the grass, when it shows that bit um, of the character just walking in the fields and just all the many blades of grass swaying in the wind, that just looked hot, right? Like, visually, just such a wonderful flex. But even at nighttime, when they're fighting, I really like the artistic direction during the nighttime fights because the way the moon uh, lights everything minimalistic and the way you know black areas and shadows are dark as they should looks fantastic you can ride horses you can um it's an mmorpg which means you can attack um monolithic massive um you know dragons and monsters and so forth as you work as a team there's a lot of cannon fodder so there's a lot of weaker guys uh, which i like as well um because it's gonna go well with the whole role playing aspect of you know when you play a fantasy video game you want to imagine you are the most powerful woman or man ever in existence right you want to send bodies and dragons and monsters just flying everywhere and you're going to get that in this game which is lovely you have the normal controls you have your you have your dodge you have your light attack you have your heavy attack you have your counters and so forth you have your specials um a little bit about the developer which gave me a bit of extra confidence in the product actually um, by reading this. So the actual developer is NPixel. Uh, they are a South Korea based game developer that has achieved the fastest unicorn status in Korean gaming history and is a rising star in the industry known for its first title, Grand Saga, an anime style uh, collectible MMORPG, which has achieved um, top downloads and grossing across major East Asia. I had to look into this further. The reviews are actually really good. So this is a key takeaway, right? When you're unfamiliar with the game, when it seems to be um, over-promising, which this game may technically be over-promising, because you look at the footage and it looks phenomenal, right? Like the the potential is through the roof. That being said, often when games like this um, showcase their brilliance, they come, they show a strong trailer, and either it just dies and disappears into the void of nothingness and you never hear from it again, or when it does eventually launch, it's completely filled with bugs, it's broken, or visually it doesn't look even half as good as what they've shown. And of course this game runs at risk because it looks like a fantastic game, right? So you do have that gamble, which is why I wanted to look at the, um, hist and that is why I want to look at the historical evidence available to see what, what else have they done? Have they even made a game before? Is this their first game? No, they've made other games, they've made other MMORPGs, and when in doubt, see what the typical reviewer has to say. The reviews are overwhelmingly positive, you know, sort of like on Steam and so forth, how you have the different good, bad, blah, blah, blah ratings. If you see something overwhelmingly positive, normally there's something behind that. And these developers have earned that, so fantastic. This isn't the first time they're doing an MMORPG. This is the first time they're doing something visually so stunning. Absolutely, but this is not their first walk in the park, so good. That means we can get a little bit excited. Now, as I said, it's coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, and of course PC. Once again, as is always the case, and I'm going to keep banging on about this, I love my Nintendo Switch, but the darn thing is too weak now, and it keeps missing out on almost all of the multi-platforms. It's, it's unfortunate. We really need to stop being in denial saying the Nintendo Switch is currently strong enough. It's not. It keeps missing out on one game after another. And mark my words, with the insane 100 million plus install base that the Switch has, it kills the developers that they can't really support it with this game because they would have to cut down on the graphics. Something stupid. Looking forward to the Switch too. But everyone else, you can enjoy it on your choice of platform now they haven't um said when specifically this game is coming out they've only shown two cases of this game they've shown a uh reveal trailer this was the first gameplay trailer right which is why i think i saw the initial reveal trailer and i ignored it because i wanted to see more gameplay uh we got like three and a half minutes of uninterrupted uh gameplay well not uninterrupted but we got lots of gameplay it looks good so down below in the comment section let me know right are you looking forward to this game? Yes, no, why not? I want to hear it either way. Also, if you can, try to encourage me, right? As I said, I normally don't pay MMORPGs. 
Is it possible to be stubborn enough? And believe me, one of my strongest assets is I am stubborn. <laughs> Can a stubborn single player gamer like me enjoy an MMORPG if I absolutely refuse to join up with other players? Or is that something which everyone tries and everyone fails at? You people who are more experienced in this genre of gaming, let me know, educate me down below. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you live on this big blue planet of ours. God bless you all. Take care. Let's get excited for some gaming. All right. Bye-bye.